Then the last part of our conversation, this was just update where you are now, the big thing out there, the uh, the autonomous driving. I mean, why would uh, Tom Tom? I would see Tom Tom as the ideal candidate to supply autopilot to all the manufacturers who cannot do it themselves. And there's a lot of them. And it's a really a technology game. It's a numbers game. It's a map game. It's a smartness game. It's a software yeah. game. Where are you? What role are you going to play in autonomous? Well, we have our own self-driving stack. We have our software, we have our self-driving cars. We are in uh, the third generation of the technology. In Berlin, right? Uh, you bought yeah, that company? That How? That what was the name yeah, of the company you bought? Uh, autonomous, autonomous driving. Fantastic really? business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were, and their history goes back to the DARPA days. Uh, How many people work there in that division? Yes. Well, that's, in the meantime, that's uh, that's 100 people. Mm -hmm. uh, our our goal is not necessarily uh, at this stage, not necessarily to create and, and sell self-driving cars or self-driving technology ourselves, but we want to get a, a very thorough understanding of the challenges uh, and the needs uh, for self-driving vehicles. Okay. So we spend a lot of time understanding what sensors can do, how you process that data, you know, what, what you need to do to, to get a self-driving car. In a car. very thorough way, we know you, yeah. but what role, what is your end play? What do you want to be in, the, in, in five or ten, let's say ten years from now, autonomous driving is really popular, it's, it really is changing the world, we're going to use way less cars. What does Tom, Tom do? Yeah, we, 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 we want to play an active role as a supplier in the, uh, to the automotive industry for self-driving technology. Mm -hmm. And that is in the areas of mapping, uh, but we're also working very closely on the sensor side, on the, on, the, on the video side, on the camera side, together with partners. Uh, and uh, we see that as a, as a huge opportunity. Okay. So that mean you will supply the complete stack. You, you can supply the complete stack. You can do only the mapping or you can only do the, the censoring, but you can also uh, provide the complete solution for no, autonomous that driving. Not, that's currently not on the cards. Uh, doing the complete stack is, uh, is not something we want to engage in uh, at this stage. Maybe later when there's more clarity on the technology, but not at this stage. Hmm. And why is that? Because it's a, um, uh, it's a, it's a huge, uh, it's technically hard, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also... Uh, it should be inspirational. Uh, th which is inspirational, and that's what our engineers like, and uh, our engineers prefer to work on hard problems than on easy yes. problems. Yeah. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, and there is a, uh, I know that, that a lot of people are interested in... But what, uh, does Bosch, what does Bosch have that you haven't? Well, I, again, I don't know what Bosch has and what they do exactly. Uh, Bosch they are the partner who want to provide those kinds of completely sell Delphi, Bosch, or model. I think you are. This is much more your play, um, a software play, complicated software play, lots yeah. of data, artificial intelligence. You have everything. We'll think about it, uh, Vincent. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said three we'll years think, ago. We'll think about it. <laughs> What do you think, uh, uh, Tom? Tom, you have gone up and down. You've gone what two billion, one billion in sales. Wh wh what do you see yourself in ten years? Well, how big is uh, Tom Tom, and what role will you play? Well, that's not that easy to predict. Let's face it. There is huge change coming uh, coming to us. As, uh, we are already really at a cross point where a lot of different uh, developments are coming together. You know, de demographics are changing, electrification, self driving. Um, mobility services that, that, that are becoming a part of the day-to-day -day, uh, fabric. So there's a lot going on. Yeah. And, uh, but, and, and, and we know also from experience, if there's a lot of change, there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah. And um, so that's good, exciting time. Okay, you started in 1991, right? Yeah. You've done this now for 27 years? Uh, yeah. yeah. Why do you always still do this? <laughs> After all these years, I mean, uh, wouldn't, you, then, wouldn't you say like, oh, well, I mean, all that change and change in the company, you've gone through rough things, fantastic things. So why are you still inspired to do this every yeah, day? Yeah, it's because I'll, we, we love it. We love what we do. We love... Well, the founders are almost there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we, and it is, and for good reasons, you know. It's a, it's a privilege to, uh, to work on those uh, issues, help solving them. We're meeting fantastic people. We have fantastic teams and... And uh, you know, and we we travel the world to see what's going on. It's not uh, boring. Not boring. Well, uh, it's, it's also hectic and difficult. Yeah, yeah, but we like it. You know, we like it. <laughs> you and your wife are still both with both feet in there. Yeah, fully invested. Okay.
All right, so this is the update again. Every three years I talk to, uh, to Harold to see where he is and what page he's going. And uh, th there's one thing for sure, the future is gonna be bright and very interesting. Did you like this video? There's more where this came from. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about our new videos.